right, y'all, what's up? Got my bucket. About to see if I can try to get some shad. I highly doubt it, but have my my boys with me. Say hi. Say hi. What's up? What's so. <laughs> up? Got my little guy with me. What's up, dude? Running. Hey. Hi. Well, we're about to go down here. I'm taking them for a good journey. See, they're not used to no long walks like this. I mean, they are, but, you know, not with daddy. So, been in the 50s the last, you know, week. So, that's pretty good. But today's supposed to be a high, I think, uh, 45, I think. And then tomorrow's supposed to get back nice. But, you know, I'm going to throw this cast net out here soon. And I'll show y'all what's going on once I get down here. Jump. Jump. What we doing? Where we going? Fishing? Fishing. Huh? Oh. Where we going? I'm fishing. Okay. It's my little guy back here. He's nonchalant when he's outside, but he loves it, believe it or not. My son actually enjoys outdoors in such a playful manner. My this son of mine, he does in the same matter, well, with the same matter but not the same energy same he don't have the same enthusiasm like my oldest one has but this guy will go crazy if you take him in a house all right so we here we finally made it here's my son he think he knows what he's doing but i need you to come over here son all right so as i just pulled up i did see some shad jumping that's a good sign and i seen a flicker through a little bit of wake it's not much wake uh in fact the wind is in our favor uh no you don't see no snake uh my son think he see a snake but we're gonna get down here i'm gonna try to bring my oldest uh down there with me my youngest one he gotta stay up here he's not ready for the rock shed it's a little bit crazy but i see a lot of shad jumping so what that means i'll just stick around here and wait till i can see if they pulled up close or i'll just throw in random spots you know obviously i can't throw too many places but we're gonna try to do that ain't that right son you ready don't fall nope He, he's okay all right y'all let's get down here all right so i just got in my spot that i want to throw i just saw a shad jump right in that vicinity now my only concern is trying to throw out there and get stuck on this log right here so i might have to uh just try to cast up in this area because a lot of times they move around so i'm gonna see if i can try to intercept them instead and see how good that goes get back sonny all right, here we go. Watch out, Sonny. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got some shad, y'all. Uh, we got some shad, but my net, my net folded up in it. Uh, it was a bad throw, but we got some shad. Meaning, I have to throw that again. We did get some shad. So you can see there's actually decent, really decent shad in there. Ain't that right, Sonny? See that? So we're gonna, so we gonna throw that again. Uh, fortunately, there is a lot of shad this time. Now, there's a couple times I came out here recently and I didn't get much. All right, y'all, let's throw this one more time and we're gonna see what else we can get. Watch out, Sonny. All right, watch this. Let's see what else we can get. Come on. Oh. Oh. I didn't get, oh, I got a couple this time. I got a couple this time. All right, y'all, stay tuned. I'm about to see what else I can get. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Ah, went over there to the left a little bit. See if we can get anything. Oh, 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 there we go. That's a nice school. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at that, Ma. Got a nice school right there. Look at that. Look at all that good shad. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all can see the shad now. See, look at that. And we got good, healthy ones. Look at that. All right, we're going to throw this cast net one more time because I don't really think I need to actually... I don't think I need to actually do too much, but y'all stay tuned. It's out. Yeah. 
Oh, I got, I think I got something. Ah, I didn't get nothing that time. Bad throw. That was a real bad throw. Look how that net looks. I keep getting my net caught on the other, like my rope caught on the other side of the net. So what I'm gonna do, instead of me taking my time wrapping it up, I'm just gonna throw it out here because I'm wasting too much time trying to be neat about my throw and that's why I ain't throwing it right. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> ah! That's it. I, that's it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now, guys, I got all the shad I can get. I don't think I need to try to get no more. I would stack up, but like I said, I don't have a I don't have a bunch of bags to go crazy with. But we did get some shad. So, all right, y'all. Stay tuned. Got to thump these shad that's out here on the ground into the water or in my bucket. Got to pick these up off the ground. Got to pick them up off the ground. Let's do this. We're going to throw that cast net one more time. But look, you see what's going on here. The shad. Throw the smaller ones back. There's no point in keeping those. Get some of these back. Go. All right, we're going to do one more throw, and that's it. All right, one more throw. This is the last throw, y'all. And no more shad because I don't got no bags. Enough, not enough right now. And I don't feel like buying nothing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we got a couple. I said one more throw, but that's it, y'all. That's it. All right, y'all. That's how we cast net for shad, ain't that right? Fist bump. Yeah, and my son got shad scales all over his face. And we got shad everywhere. So what I'm going to do is take this home. I'm going to show y'all how I prepare my shad and put it in the freezer for next year. It's that simple. All right, so that's the face. That's the face of somebody who likes to play with shad hey look at that shad uh and he put come on man got shad scales all on his lips and he licked his lips and he's playing with shad lord have mercy and my son up here he's enthused about outside but his enthusiasm has no comparison to that guy so I took my boys out here with me to get some shad and we was very successful. We actually got some really nice ones. So I'm thinking what we gonna do is actually go to the house and we about to go ahead and uh, vacuum seal these dogs. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my shad or whatever I do. Nothing serious, it ain't too fancy, but it does, it's effective and it's good for some catfish. So as I'm walking back to the car, I just wanna say one thing, man. You know, life changes you, man, when you have kids. And my children, man, they are something else. Full of energy, and they are definitely two different people. But it's one thing when they actually wants to come with their father and just hang out. You know, my oldest always, he is super enthused with hanging out with me. Everything I do, he wants to do. So that's that's always that's always a dope thing. And my youngest son, he's pretty much sometimes just with the flow, but he loves everything. Life is good. Life is good. And sooner or later, I have my daughter out here. But, you know, as of right now, she's only three weeks old and she's not ready. <laughs> all right, y'all, we in the house now. We got all our shad in the bucket, as you can see. Lots of it. Uh, we have a total of nine seal bags. So what we're going to do is use as many as we can on here. But I just want to show you all how I do this. I got a couple towels to lay the shad on, kind of dry them off, and then I'll saw them on the rag themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, what we do is we just grab a handful of shad. You can see what's in my hand. Try to mix it up because there's, I caught some really decent ones too for the, for the time of year it is. So, I just kind of lay them down like that. Kind of give them one of them numbers right there. 
because I don't want to, you know, dry them up too much. But you see, see my hands look like glitter. What I do is, once I do that, I kind of take the salt that we have, just regular iodized salt, and we give them a, a spritz. I don't have to do both sides because once I take the bag and put it up in there, you know, the salt will dissolve. So it'll it, it kind of uh, submerge the whole entire thing of fish. So what we do is we grab the fish, slip them in the bags. We're going to try to be as clean as possible about this because let me tell you something. This will get messy regardless of what you think or what you would actually want to happen. Uh, so what we're going to do is just keep on taking this shad and putting them in here. One shad at a time. They're real slippery. And in my opinion, we could put more in there. So we do the same thing. Grab a handful. Spread them out a little bit. Take our towel. Give them a little, you know, pat. You know what I'm saying? Can't really clean out because technically it's slime. But to get that excess wetness off... It's what you want to do. So you take the salt and give them a good sprinkle. There you go. And then take the bag, shad, and pour these in here. All right, so now that we have that done, now, this is just a fuller bag, so what we won't do is fill it up this much more, but I just wanted to kind of have one of those bags that's pretty healthy. So now we move this all out the way, and here's our vacuum sealer right here. So it's this little cushion thing that you want to keep it right in between and right in the middle. That's the way you seal your bag. So you want to kind of keep that in the middle. You want to press this down, snap both sides, and then we're going to vacuum and seal. So it's a process. We wait. Now, when you vacuum and seal it, what you don't want to see is when the time, by the time the uh, bag is sealed, you don't want to see so much of the liquids come up to the point where it starts to spill out into your, uh, your vacuum sealer. So with that being said, here's a bag of vacuum sealed right here. We're going to wait till that light turns what it needs to be. And... Look at that. Vacuum seal shad with salt in it. That's how I like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Very simple. Nothing hardcore about this. And what that salt will do is pretty much preserves it. It's, it's not, not, in other words, when you go back out and use it, it won't be mushy when it thaws out. Because if you just decide you want to put the shad in the bag and then, you know, uh, thaw out later on when you get ready to use it, it'd be just mush. And it won't stay on your hook, you know, with the same strength it had before you know the same integrity you know so there you have you know what i'm saying vacuum sealed bag of shad I'm gonna open up my freezer and slide that in there <laughs> 